ice, a glittery fried egg, jelly crystal candies, and how to cut an onion without crying and make cookies using a soda can? Learn these and other amazing food life hacks in our new video. Christy made some coffee, but it tastes too plain. Something's missing. Oreos? Not quite. Oh, I know. Let's unite coffee, cookies, and milk. Cut Oreos into small pieces. Distribute them in an ice tray. Pour in some milk and put the tray in the freezer. Toss the Oreo ice into your coffee. Mmm! Now I've got a delicious Oreo-flavored frappe. Much better! We're almost out of peanut butter, and Christy's eating the last Oreo. But the blue-eyed girl has a recipe for making delicious cookies out of leftover peanut butter. Take seven ounces of sweetened peanut butter and add one egg and two tablespoons of flour. Mix the ingredients together and form small balls. Place them on parchment paper. Squish them slightly with a fork. Bake them for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Making peanut butter cookies wasn't too hard. And they turned out super yummy! And Christy came up with an idea for improving an Oreo filling. Let's transform it into a marshmallow rainbow. Remove the filling from Oreos. Add marshmallow to it and food coloring. Make three different colors of filling. Microwave the mixture for 15 seconds. Put each filling into a cookie in even stripes and put the second half of the cookie on top. Wow, that's amazing. A rainbow filling really improves Oreos both their look and their taste. Our cookie experiments paid off. Christy is frying up an egg, but she's much more focused on her phone again. Oh no, I think something's burning. In the meantime, the blue-eyed girl swapped out the salt and pepper for some colorful glitter. Pour one and a half fluid ounces of water into half an ounce of gelatin. Let the gelatin soak, then microwave it. Divide the gelatinous mass into three parts. Add food coloring to each one and put in edible pearl powder. Spread the glittery mass out in a thin layer on a flat board using a brush. After the jelly sets, remove the stripes and break them up in a coffee grinder. Distribute the finished glitter into Ziploc bags. Christy wants to add salt to her yummy eggy. Surprise! Now your breakfast looks like a unicorn lure. Your egg turned glittery, colorful, and photogenic. Let's snap a few pictures for Instagram. The blue-eyed girl is making cookies and her friend is relaxing with a can of Coca-Cola. How unfair! The dough is ready. All I have to do is cut out the cookies. Stop! Cutting cookies out with a knife isn't very comfortable. And Christy just finished her soda. Let's make a few cookie cutters out of this soda can. Cut a soda can up into rings about half an inch wide. Bend the rings, giving them all different shapes. Use the cookie cutters to cut the dough. Turning regular cookies into fun ones was so easy. These soda can cookie cutters are fast and easy to make. And baked stars and hearts turned out so delicious. Redhead wants to sprinkle her ice cream with cookies. She crumbled up some Oreos, but her sprinkles ended up covering the table, not just her ice cream. The blue-eyed girl knows a way to combat this Oreo mess. Take the filling out of an Oreo and break up the cookie. Place the cookie fragments into a clean spice grinder. Process the Oreo and sprinkle the crumbs over your ice cream. Now your cookie is really acting like some fancy spices. And Redhead won't risk breaking her fingers on cookies anymore. A few simple movements and the ice cream is covered with a fine layer of Oreo crumbs. We're on the cutting edge of culinary science. 
the blue-eyed girl cooked herself a yummy treat. She poured a caramel sauce over her pancakes. But it's not just any old caramel sauce. It's salted. Mix three and a half ounces of sugar, one and a half ounces of corn syrup, and about half an ounce of water. Cook it on medium heat until the mixture turns a rich amber color. Pour in five ounces of hot, heavy cream. Mix thoroughly and add half a teaspoon of salt. Use the finished caramel sauce as a topping. The blue-eyed girl left her treat unattended. Big mistake! Christy followed the delicious scent of the caramel straight here. Holy caramel! I lucked out! Christy can't decide what the flavor is. The caramel is sweet, but salty all at once. Delicious! While the blue-eyed girl looked for cutlery, Christy ate all her pancakes. Oops! Looks like the blue-eyed girl is going to have to eat her leftover caramel topping without any pancakes to go with it. Christy fell asleep and she's dreaming of Oreos. The kind-hearted blue-eyed girl decided to shower her with popcorn. So Christy can snack even while she's asleep. What an unusual popcorn. The taste of Oreos really is haunting Christy. Remove the filling from some Oreos. Put the cookies into a Ziploc bag and break them up into a fine crumb. Make microwave popcorn according to the instructions and mix it with the Oreo crumbs. What a great idea! Mixing popcorn and Oreos? I can't eat enough! Christy loves unusual snacks like this. Christy made crystals out of jelly candies. Culinary magic! Mix six and a half ounces of water with five grams of agar agar. Mix it until the water boils and add in nine ounces of sugar. Cook it for seven to eight minutes on medium heat. Pour the finished product into a shallow dish. Decorate it with edible pearl powder and food coloring. Mix the colors with a wooden skewer to get a marble effect. Let it cool for two hours. Break the finished candy up into small pieces, giving it a crystal-like look. The blue-eyed girl is looking very closely at these unusual crystals. Are you sure they're edible? Of course! Jellies like these are a healthy and delicious dessert. Let's make mojitos! According to the recipe, we should juice half a lemon into this glass. Christy's strength is leaving her fast, but the blue-eyed girl always has a life hack ready to go. Microwave a lemon for 10 seconds. The warm lemon is easy to juice with barely any effort. And Christy has a pre-frozen mix for a cocktail called citrus ice. Cut a lemon up into small pieces. Do the same thing with a lime. Put some lemon and lime chunks into an ice tray along with some mint leaves. Pour in some water. Put it in the freezer. Place the citrus ice into glasses and pour in the cocktails. It turns out making a refreshing cocktail from scratch is super easy. The blue-eyed girl wants to have some breakfast, but her cereal is, unfortunately, nowhere to be found. But Christy just showed up and she brought some homemade cereal with her. Mix six ounces of flour, one ounce of cocoa powder, one egg, two and a half ounces of honey, and one tablespoon of milk. Mix the dough. Place little balls of dough onto a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Bake for 15 minutes at 280 degrees. Let's try our DIY cereal. Not bad, and it's really crunchy. Homemade cereal is definitely a breakfast of champions. Redhead and the blue-eyed girl are having a competition to see who can get the most likes on Instagram. To make sure the game is fair, the conditions of the competition have to be evenly matched. Let's have a food photography contest. Donuts and macaroons look boring. No way we'll get any likes with these. We need to decorate our desserts. Pour a little over half an ounce of vegetable oil into one and a half fluid ounces of water and sprinkle in a little bit of flour. Add food coloring to the mix. Put the batter onto a hot frying pan. Fry it until the batter stops hissing. Carefully remove the beautiful desserts from the pan. 
and let them chill on a paper towel. Decorate the dish. Redhead added a lacy accent to her donuts. This intricate rainbow decoration changes the whole mood of the picture. And it'll probably get a lot of likes. It's fun to crunch on, too! Meanwhile, the blue-eyed girl decorated her macaroon with a colorful sponge cake pillow. Put in an ounce of sugar and two eggs. Then add one and a half ounces of honey. Beat the ingredients with a mixer. Separately mix one and a half ounces of flour and a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Pour the flour into the egg mixture. Combine everything thoroughly. Distribute the mixture into three cups. Color each one with food coloring. Cover the cups with saran wrap and microwave them for 40 seconds on the highest setting. Once the sponge cake has cooled, remove it from the cup. Crumble it onto a plate. Now these rainbow macaroons don't look naked and lonely on their big plate. A colorful sponge cake is guarding them! Mmm! How yummy! Welcome Instagram likes! You're about to witness an epic battle between good and evil. Christy is preparing to cut an onion, and she's the first casualty of the war. Her eyes turn red, and she's tearing up. This onion is making Christy so upset. The blue-eyed girl sees her friend suffering. Onions are dangerous opponents, but we'll win this battle using water. No, no! Don't wash your eyes! Fill your mouth with water instead! Now that your mouth is full of water, chopping an onion is much less dangerous. Its fumes are completely harmless now. Sure, we look like fish, but at least we managed to chop the onion quickly and silently. I want to snack, but I'm too lazy to cook! All of a sudden, the blue-eyed girl is attacked by different smoothie mixes. Cut up three and a half ounces of spinach leaves, a banana, and a kiwi. Put everything into a freezer bag. Label it and put it in the freezer. For the next smoothie, cut up a carrot, a peeled orange, and a green apple. Freeze it in a bag, too. Another option, one and a half ounces of lettuce, apples, avocado, and kiwi. A veggie smoothie made out of pumpkin and carrots will be a beautiful orange color. Transfer your smoothie mix into a blender. A couple of seconds and a healthy snack is ready. The blue-eyed girl's glass is full of vitamins, and she didn't even have to spend much time on cooking. It looks like this microwave hasn't been cleaned for ages. It definitely doesn't look fresh. Time to clean it. Mix 17 fluid ounces of water with a spoonful of citric acid and microwave it in a dirty microwave for two minutes. After the water has boiled, wipe off the microwave with a dry sponge. A few passes with the sponge and our old microwave is as good as new. Great work, ladies! Did you like our food life hacks? Then let us know in the comments about which delicious snack you'll make for yourself at home. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss new useful life hacks from Troom Troom.